Hello my sweeties and welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know me, my name is Elise, and thank you for joining my spooky little family. In today's video, we will be talking about whatever happened to baby Jane. Let's get into the video. Before I get into the synopsis of the film and what I liked about it, I would first like to thank my patron, Andy, for recommending this film for me to review. Andy is always coming through with bangers. Directed by Robert Aldrich, starring Betty Davis and Joan Crawford, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane follows a former child star who torments her paraplegic sister in their decaying Hollywood mansion. So if you are not familiar with this film or the tea between the two lead actresses, let me just give you a quick recap. Joan Crawford and Betty Davis both hated each other in real life for many years before this film came to fruition. They had been in this long feud in Hollywood for years and it was actually Joan Crawford who persuaded Betty Davis to sign on to Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. The film was actually an unexpected box office success and did somewhat represent the comeback that both actresses desperately needed at that time. It became remembered as a public document of their real life rivalry. Of course, it was not easy for Joan Crawford to get Betty Davis. Betty Davis actually only agreed to be in the film on two conditions. One, that she plays the title role, and two, that director Robert Aldrich doesn't sleep with Joan Crawford because she did not want him favoring her with more close-ups. Truly two divas of the time, you guys. There was also a show titled Feud by Ryan Murphy starring Jessica Lange and Susan Sarandon that goes more in depth and spills all of the tea about what happened on the set of this film and later at the Oscars, which was a huge scandal. I highly recommend watching if you are a fan of this film. Okay, so I went into this film not knowing the synopsis or the tea between the two actresses in real life, and I am pleased to say that this film is excellent. Whatever Happened to Baby Jane is a film that takes two of Hollywood's biggest stars, destroys them, and then reforms them anew. You can tell while watching the film that the story being told is very much affecting our actresses, so much so that they both give these incredibly gripping performances. Betty Davis is an absolute powerhouse through and through. She is terrifying, completely deranged, and hilarious, all while bringing this kind of sad humanity to her character. It's honestly something I really loved seeing as an actress myself. Having two hours to study Betty Davis's performance was an absolute gift. It is 100% a performance I will never forget. Joan Crawford, I do wanna say, is very good here as well, and so are her eyebrows. Her eyebrows are fucking goals, you guys. I need them. But anyway, back to her performance. Her performance is a little more subdued, but she absolutely nails the emotions and vulnerabilities of the character. Those moments in the film of her reminiscing and watching her old movies on TV feel so authentic. It's very clear that this story hits pretty close for both of them at this point in their careers since it has a lot to do with ageism and gripping onto the past. They both just feel so connected to the work that it makes us as the audience feel connected even sympathizing with them. And that is one thing I really love here. I love the story. The story is powerful, raw, and real, and this is what I fucking want in a movie! The story comes together not only with the great performances, but with the great direction of Robert Aldrich, though I feel some of this could be just like a little snappier and not as long, but honestly, it doesn't matter because I still had a great time watching this. I also do understand it is a movie from the 60s and the pacing was definitely different than films today. The atmosphere created in the film is great. I absolutely love the set design. The creepy huge Hollywood mansion and this being in black and white versus color 
really adds to the sadness and true horror of the story. So shout out to my girl Betty for telling them that this film should be in black and white. The tension that this film holds is so good too and it's got to be a mixture of things, of everything that happened in real life on the set with Crawford and Davis and these two women just being incredibly talented actresses just killing the game. They absolutely nailed the tone. There's those purely terrifying moments like Jane singing, I've written a letter to daddy as a grown woman, dressed like a little girl, looking at herself in the mirror, freaking Edwin the hell out. <laughs> That scene was so good. And then there's those dark comedic moments like Betty yelling out lines that absolutely kill me. <laughs> I will never not laugh at the scene where she's like, but you are Blanche, you are in that chair. <laughs> Honestly iconic. I would also like to point out that I find the ending of this film to be incredibly sad and so well done. Just the final line that Jane has where she looks over to Blanche and she's like, you mean all this time we could have been friends? I was like, I think I'm kind of starting to notice a trend here with my taste in movies. I seem to really like horror films from the 60s. The storytelling is just so good. Anyway, I am so beyond happy that this film was recommended to me because it is most definitely now one of my favorite films of all time. And this is definitely one of those movies that you have to watch before you die. So if you haven't seen it, you need to. And with that being said, I am going to be giving Whatever Happened to Baby Jane five levs out of five. So good. I have nothing more to say. Go watch it for the two girlies absolutely killing the game. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps me a lot. And be sure to click that little notification bell to be up to date every single time I upload. And if you would like to recommend a film for me to review, definitely consider checking out my Patreon page where I have really cool perks such as that and other fun things that involve being more a part of the channel. Also, let me know in the comments, have you seen Whatever Happened to Baby Jane? Do you plan on watching it? Were you not really into it? I'd love to talk about it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.